Welcome to our introduction to the Managed Service Provider feature of the HPE GreenLake Hybrid Cloud Platform. This video is part 3 of a multi-part series designed to help you get started. By now, you've created MSP and tenant workspaces, added a device and onboarded a service. So what's next in the onboarding lifecycle? Today, we'll discuss how to onboard users onto the platform and ensure they have access only to the areas they need. Let's get started. Once you log into the platform, navigate to Manage Workspaces, Identity and Access, and Users. Here, you'll see my user information, which I've logged in with. Let's click on the username to review the default access permission assigned to a user when a workspace is created. When a user creates a workspace, they automatically get the workspace administrator role, but only for the platform. For any other services, access needs to be granted explicitly. Let me show you what that means. Let's go to services. You'll see that Compute Ops Management is already provisioned, but I can't access it. Why? Because as mentioned earlier, I only have platform level access, not service level access. Let's go back to the users page. Click the HP green logo at the top left to return to the workspace. Now, as a workspace administrator, this user can create custom workspaces, add devices, provision services, check logs, create users and assign roles and much more. Now let's create a new user and check out what's new here. Click on add users on the right side of the page. On the Add User page, you have two options, Add User from Organization Directory or manually enter their details. For this demo, we'll add one user manually. Click the I button to learn more about organization governance, which also allows you to invite and manage users. We have also provided a link to the video in the video description below. Next, click New User and enter the user's email address. You can assign a role now or do it later. While optional, we recommend selecting the checkbox to send an invitational email. The user will receive an email invitation which they must accept to join the platform. You'll also notice that they are immediately added to the list upon clicking Add. In this video, we want this user to access only two out of three customer workspaces and manage their Aruba Central application nothing else. Now, let's assign a role. Click Assign Role and select the Aruba Central Administrator. Since this user shouldn't have access to the parent workspace, choose None in the first box. Then, in the Customer Workspace Scope, select Specific Workspace Groups. Additional fields will appear where you can select the workspaces the user should access. We'll select Hospitality Companies Group and select Assign. Here, you'll notice that the default role of workspace member was automatically assigned when we added this user. However, we don't want this user to have visibility into the MSP parent workspace or other customer workspaces. So we'll add a new role assignment. Click on Assign Role and select Workspace Observer. For the MSP workspace scope, choose None. Then, in the Customer Workspace Scope, select Specific Workspace Groups, just like we did earlier. Finally, select Hospitality Companies and click Assign. Once the role is assigned, review it to ensure it is correct. We also need to remove the default Workspace Member role as it is no longer needed. Just click the bin icon next to the Workspace Member role to delete it. Now. Let's log in as the new user and see what access they have. Immediately after logging in, we see that the user is in the MSP workspace, but with limited visibility. Clicking on the Customers tab, we notice that only two workspaces are visible, just as expected. Although this MSP has three workspaces, the third one isn't part of the workspace group assigned to this user, so it doesn't appear. Next. Let's click on one of the assigned workspaces. Here we have full platform access. On the home page, we also see the Aruba Central tile confirming access to the service. 
That wraps up our video on identity and access management for managed service providers. Today, we learned how to create users and grant them access only to the workspaces and services they need. Thank you for watching.